morning. Welcome to another Monday. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take out this clay back in the gully. You can see that uh, unfortunately Brad had a little mishap, which is fine. It happens. Broke this collar with a with a breaker. So we're going to take this out. This, they've had a new repair at some point. So we've got a, a, um, a brand new um, underground log plastic pipe there. So we're going to take this out, this collar out, undo this connector and put a brand new system in here. So keep watching. We're going to go to hyperspace. So uh, see you in a Brad's got that out now, that's all been smashed out. So we've got this brand new back inlet gully. So what this does is, you've got that bung there, that stops all the smell coming up, as does the water that sits in this back inlet gully. So you've got water when we finish it now, water will sit in there, that will stop all the smell coming up. This bung, it serves two purposes. So if this is ever missing in your drainage in your home, um, then what this does, that allows you to get the rods down in there to rod the drainage if there's a blockage. But what this does as well is it stops all the smell coming up. So once you've rodded it, if you need to, if you put that back in, then that's a, a tight seal on there and that'll stop all the smells from the sewer coming up here and going up through into there. So really important that you put that or you buy a new one if you're missing it, because you could be sat out in your garden, in your patio, or even having a shower, as we found it on an extension before, Brad, wasn't it? We did. You know, we had a shower, the plumbing was fitted, that was missed, plumber missed that, ponging in the in the, in the uh, extension, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. All because of that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So really important that you get that in. So we're going to put this in here now, up against the wall. You can move all this. You can swing that around, so we'll do that. We get that set where we want it, and then we've got to connect that to that. And then that will go back on top of there and then we got numerous connectors then to be able to to do it we've got a bit of pipe out off camera over there to do that so we'll um we'll stick you back onto uh hyperspace Done now, cut it off. That was a pain using a saw, a bit tight, whatever, it's done now. Got this now grinding blade, gonna grind this pipe down now to the shape so I can get this on a little bit easier. I could do it without it, but I wanna do it because it's just easier for me. Put a bit of a lube on it, get it in, get it all done, connect it up and uh, jobs are good in. Uh, we've got some trusty old fairy. Uh, we shouldn't really use them fairy. We're using proper drain loop or the van's chocker. So I can't find it. I found that, so we're using that. Bit on there, bit on you. Quickly show you this now, just to get it on. Right, see that's how easy it is with Lou. Got the gully in now, got some 20mm chickens underneath here, so obviously it's all firmed up and a bit more well, they not connected yet, but it's all firmed up and uh, all done. That, sure. um, that connector is an adjustable one that Brad's yeah, showing you there adjustable now. adjustable connector, so I can twist it and play with it as I need, obviously. Put yeah. it where we want, put it in, connect that to that with a straight bit of pipe. But one key thing with those uh, adjustable flexies is there's an arrow on them showing you which way the flow will go. So if you've got the arrow going the wrong way, obviously you, you, you're going the wrong way with the flow. So make sure you put those on with the arrow. I think that brand is Os Osma. Osma, yeah. Yeah, so if you're getting Osma drainage, we found out to our um, neglect before by not looking that the we've had it on the, the wrong way. We've had to change it round, haven't we, Brad? Yeah, we have. So there we are. That's done then. Got my little level now. I couldn't uh, couldn't quite reach the original pipe to that to level. So I've done it by eye, and I put it on it now, and I'm literally like 
less than 10 mil falling the wrong way. So that means this is going to come off, got to go back a couple of inches, cut it down. I mean, it was a little bit of a guess, but it was kind of an educated guess, which was wrong. So take it back off, go again, and uh, we'll show you some more now. Mm, the lesson is that uh, we're putting it on right, but uh, there we are. Lesson learned. as well as he called it the old fella obviously you got to put it in level that's who's not level sorry with a fork who's, a who's this old fella you the old Me. fella oh. he's, he's a, he is the santa look like santa look like well when he's got a bit of a bit of a thing on a go like does this look like santa to you comments below anyway <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's done now. Uh, we've got it all connected up. All these scalpings back on. Probably need a couple more scalpings from at the front. Get all, get all that in. Get it all uh, ticked off the list. One thing which I broke now in a while. And uh, no breakages again anytime soon. Got another one to do. We'll show you, uh, show you more in a sec. <laughs> Now, there's a lot of concrete around that pipe, Brad, wasn't it? It's a pain in you. Pain a break, on the back side. No. So we had to do it the old school way with a hammer and a cold chisel. But there we are. Some you win, some you lose. So that's done now. That's it. That's done. We've got to compact that with a whacker plate, which we haven't done yet, which we will do. That's in. We'll show you the next one. So this is the next one. So we're replacing this one because, as you can see, I don't know if Brad can get that in the camera if you can see it. But there we are. Look. It's all completely snapped, and it was like that when we came here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're not going to leave it. We've spoken to the client. We're going to replace it. So we'll get on with it. Taking this second uh, gully out now, so all the clay's gone. So this is the new plastic that's going back in. But what we've got with this one, on the last one we were connecting to um, to four inch to plastic because of the repair that somebody else had done on it. So this is the old clay. <clears throat> so we don't want to take all that out back to the manhole. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this, what we call them, we just call this a plastic to clay connector. So it's like five and a half or six inches into four inches so what this does that goes on top of there and then that little screw there you just do that up and then your four inch pipe goes in there you do that up and then you connect you connect it and you've reduced it from six inch down to four inch and then you're back on track then to connect back into that so we'll go back to uh, hyperspace <laughs> to be set in situ and what we've done with a mini disc cutter with a grinding uh, disc on it we've just we've chamfered do you see that there we've chamfered the ends of the pipe so that when you put your connector onto it it goes on a lot easier because if you don't do that you're going to be really struggling you can get it in brad can't you yeah it's a real struggle isn't it 
So it just makes it a lot easier to get it connected onto there now and then for it to slip on. So we've done that to both sides. So there's a top tip for anybody doing a bit of DIY drainage. So there we are. Pipe now that I've trimmed off. So I've put a bit of lubrication on this seal. So there's the seal there, so the black seal on there. And then put some lube on there and then what we're going to do now. It's still difficult to put on because obviously they're tight, but that's on now. And then just get that in there. So tighten that up now. Just leave the screw down in there. Tighten that up. We won't tighten it all the way up because we've bought you to there. I'll tighten all that up now, and then your gully is, uh, is good to go. So we're just testing this drain now. Customer's got the tap on, so just filling that gully up. That then will overflow down into the manhole, and that's been going a while now, brother. Mm -hmm. There's no leaks in there, so we're good to go, mate, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Good job. So, bottle gully's in now, that's all installed. Installed, you've seen us testing it, so that's in, that's ready to rock and roll. This one up here, this is done. That's in, tested that, that's all ready to rock and roll. And the eco drains from the patio, which is running through there, which you'll see in the next video, um, they're all connected into this now. So that's ready to rock and roll. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's helped. Any comments, leave them below. Please like and subscribe and uh, see you on the next one. Cheers.